Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, welcome back. Y'all already know for what. All right, we get ready to go ahead and we get ready to get into a quick little video. Now, y'all, let me go ahead and apologize because um this weekend, you know, um a lot of people was disappointed. A lot of people seen me go ahead and act a fool. And y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all already know that that is something that I don't do. I stare out of the way when it comes to the whole drama. You get what I'm saying? Situation. But, you know, sometimes y'all already know how your girl Reese is or whatever. And every now and then, I have to put, you get me, whether it's a female or a male in their appropriate uh, space. So now that I have done that, y'all, I only try to do it maybe once a year. So, I mean, the year is going out, you get me? So y'all can't even really be mad at me. And not only that, but y'all know that when I do it, it's epic and it's so entertaining. And y'all already know what's really, really the gag and what's really, really funny is when the other person is trying to come back from being uh, buried. They try to come back from being buried. Now, look, y'all, Olivia has decided to go ahead and post a video mm -hmm. about Gerard picking up the kids. So anyway, Olivia, you went ahead on and you posted this young video, mm -hmm, very juvenile, about you being at the police station and you making a uh, report. Because allegedly, Gerard hit you in the face with a bag of shoes and some sunscreen. <laughs> I already told y'all I'm eating, so yeah. So, Gerard drives the kids off and, you know... You said that he put the bags in the car and you know that you got a truck and you have a lot of room and everything. And Olivia, let me tell you right now, you inspired me, girl, to go ahead and get a truck. You get what I'm saying? You even um let uh Daddy Reese unfiltered, okay? My daddy, he said, yeah. He said, absolutely. You definitely gonna need a, you know, a truck for the wintertime. Mm-hmm. So daddy Reese unfiltered, you know what I'm saying? He did the thing. All right. Now I done told y'all this before. You get what I'm saying? I just try to not come on here and tell everything because see a lot of y'all get y'all panties up in a bunch and y'all would be like, oh my God. Oh my God. She's bragging. Oh my God. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, but I had to go ahead and make, you know what I'm saying? Another example out of someone that keeps trying to come for me. And the problem is with that is that we're not, we will never, ever be on the same actual level, okay? Because over here, let me tell y'all, y'all already know how I get down. I'm at an animated and it is what? It is levels to this shit. Yes, it is. Y'all wanna know what I'm eating? I'm eating some Cheesecake Factory um shrimp, potatoes, and you know what I'm saying? A roll on the side and some ketchup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's what your girl doing over here. So look, y'all. You mean to tell me that you are this? Patty, okay, you done said that this man to slap you in the face with a bag of shoes, okay, and sunscreen. How does that actually look on a police report? Well, yeah, I was hit in the face with a bag of shoes and some sunscreen in it. Tough Tony, you are too big to be letting anyone do any 
thing to you without consent. Okay. Now, we know that Gerard did not do that to you because if so, you would have acted like a complete battered, uh-huh, beaten, uh-huh, domestic violence case in the parking lot. You would have made sure that every single thing was done underneath a camera. Because what we know is that you are trying to get Gerard. So anything that goes down, you are definitely going to make a complete scene out of it if you can. Now, we have not heard Gerard or Nisha, mm -hmm, stepmommy Nisha, say anything to that nature. Because you know why and you know what. You would have had him hemmed up immediately. Mm -hmm. That's what you're waiting for. And not only that, Liv, but that is what you are aiming for. Four, we know that you, like I said, is definitely on the road to success trying to make sure that you can get a charge on Gerard. So, would you have done this if Gerard would have went and came and got his kids, took you out on a date, and propositioned you for a little bit of that funk box that you got down there absolutely not you would have been on to this platform you would have been going for nisha for damn weeks saying oh he wanted me oh we did this oh we did that yeah that's what you would have did uh tough tony my thing is is that when you decide to do all of these skits and plays and drama does do you ever go over this with your mom? I feel like that you would go over this with Stella with the boots, by Reese, Stella with the boots. I feel that you would go over this with her because I mean, that's what type of mom that she is. Mm -hmm, I can tell your mother is terrified mm -hmm, of you. My mother would have beat you down to a complete pulp. She would have had you gathered and able to act as a normal human being, okay? As a normal co-parent. Mm -hmm. That's what my mom would have done to you. Absolutely. Y'all already know how I get down. Absolutely. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This food real good, too. Y'all already know that I'm a big girl. Mm -hmm. I don't try to, you know, hide that at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your girl's a big girl, okay? So you mean to tell me you literally had to bring all your kids into this silly ass situation? Quite silly, if you ask me. No matter what, you are always trying to make Gerard look a certain way in front of his kids. Moving on. Now, Tough Tony. I seen that diamond ring, girl. That you keep saying you are going to do a story time. But from mm -hmm, a female that knows jewelry and has multiple diamond rings the way that ring is shining in the light i can tell you that it is completely fake f a k e it is fake so what i'm gonna need you to do i'm gonna need you go ahead on over there and slide on over there too 
Zolo and ask Zolo if he would be so kind <laughs> to let you use his diamond tester. Yeah, okay. Zolo, if you hear me, baby, please let Olivia live the stallion Stella with the boots daughter, tough Tony, tuna can, funk box. Use your diamond tester. Yeah, I'm waiting, girl. Because I can tell you right now that ring is fake. Okay. What else got me was, Liv the Stallion, you were going on about getting a nectar bed. Okay. And your so-called baby daddy boyfriend um, purchased that for you. My thing is, is this right here. You mean to tell me you had to wait until you were over the age of 30 to get a king size bed. I ain't even going to lie, y'all. If I was the brain, my significant other up on here, first of all, he's a fool. So y'all definitely going to have some laughs. But at the same time, he is going to tell you, oh, Reese, yeah, she's way over the top, okay? She's not your normal female that you can deal with. It takes a little bit of humbleness, and it takes a little bit of patience. Because, y'all, I don't play no games with no one at all. Mm -hmm. None. I don't care if you's a Sasquatch. I don't care if you from Harry and the Hendersons. I don't care if you are a what? A Bigfoot. Y'all remember Bigfoot? Mm-hmm. Y'all remember it. It's just so funny that YouTube has its own Bigfoot. That right there. That information I'm giving y'all is definitely some exclusive. <laughs> I already been told this weekend by my compadres to stay away from making videos for at least a week. And I better not ever go live until next year. Mm -hmm, that's what they told me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when it was going down, they was texting me and shit. Uh-huh. Telling me to uh, exit off the camera. Mm -hmm, that's what they was telling me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, girl, that diamond, that diamond is just as fake, just as fake as you getting Botox in your lips. And we already know that's definitely fake, okay? I said, wait a minute. That rain is not even adjusting itself to the light. It's cloudy. We can clearly tell that it's faker than fake. That right there is some embarrassing stuff. You mean to tell me you didn't have no storyline. So what you had to do was literally go ahead and purchase yourself the fakest, um, you know what? That's another thing I want to know, um, Tough Tony, is why is it that you love to go ahead on Amazon and place orders with fake products? First, it was the fake GED. Now, it's the fake diamond cubic zirconian mm -hmm, ring. Which you are saying you are now going to do a story time on it. <laughs> Whatever, but look at here, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide on up off of here. And I will see all of you beautiful people in what? The next video. Later.